Hello, what's up guys? Today we'll do a quick review of this HDMI video capture card called the Acasis HD33, a $15 capture card that says it can do 1080p, 60 FPS, asterisk. Um, we'll talk more about that later, but yeah, it's a $15 capture card that practically does what everybody needs it to do. But before we talk more about the actual capture card, let's first talk about what's actually inside it. Well, of course, as soon as you open up the box, it actually has the capture card itself. But uh, other than the capture card, we actually have HDMI. Yes, only one HDMI cable, not two, not three, just one. It's a normal HDMI. The quality is quite great. The cable is quite thick. And of course, you have the instruction manual, which by the way, you can pause the screen if you ever want to read how to use this device. But I'll talk more about that later on anyway. So that's a no problemo. Next, we have, of course, the one that connects to your second PC or your main PC for capturing a console, which is a USB-C to USB-A. And uh, yeah, that's 3.0. Make sure that if ever you decide to plug this in to a laptop or a PC, make sure you plug it into the 3.0 bus port or USB bus port. Um, because if you only plug it into, you know, the USB 2.0, it would probably just do 1080p 30 FPS on OBS settings. So the capture card is actually pretty small. It's very portable. It has a simple font in front, plus the logo itself on the back. It tells you the number where it's made from. You have the USB-C, the line in, then you got the HDMI in and HDMI out. That's pretty much the capture card itself. To use it, all you gotta do is plug in the HDMI from your gaming PC or gaming console on HDMI in. To pass it through to your monitor, use the HDMI out. The type C will then go to the USB A of whichever device you are using. And if you have external audio, you can plug it in on the line in. And that's it, super simple. Now I'm on the PC and I have it on OBS. By the way, you can select it as video capture card device and it's called the HD33 video. Now you can configure the video, you can change the brightness, contrast, to saturation, but I don't think that's a good idea because this is kind of like how it looks like naturally from the capture card itself. Of course, you can make it a little bit more accurate by fiddling around, but I won't really suggest that. Now the highest resolution is 1080p and for FPS, it says 60, which it kind of does, but I'll talk more about that later. As I said, the video format can only do MJPEG, no NV12 or YY2, but that's fine. Color space and color range, Rec 709 and then full. Now, if you're using this to capture a console, it, there's no problem with audio. So just capture it as it is. But if you're using this on a two PC setup, there's a little bit of problem with Windows and how it handles HDMI audio. But don't worry, I made a video about that on the description down below. So you can capture the audio using this device too. And once again, we're on Apex Legends. Why? Because as I always say, this is one of the best games to do the, you know, the visual quality difference of certain type of recording or whatsoever, because there's just a lot of motion, a lot of textures, a lot of text and a lot of distance and, you know, uh, colors, light and whatsoever. So yeah, um, here, I'll just stand still here and kind of, you know, pan into the different sides here while I'm explaining stuff. But once again, both are recorded on 40,000 bit rate. Um, main PC is recording with AMD's HEVC, while the capture card is being recorded on OBS once again, HEVC, but from NVIDIA. Again, both 40,000 bitrate and also both on 1080p 60fps. You tell me guys on the comment section below, like, what do you think about the quality? Now, as far as I can see, I can the actual image quality that. is better than the Liano capture card, the capture card that does uh, 2K30 and 1080p60. But I can also tell that this capture card right here is not really 60 FPS, or maybe I'm just so used to smoother frames, but I really don't see it as a, as kind of like a 60 FPS. Maybe it's just me, but you can comment down the comment section below how you see things. But yeah, uh, let me zoom in some of uh, some text here and you can see more of the quality honestly the acasis he33 capture card is actually pretty good the image quality is extremely great it's actually a tad bit sharper than the actual recording itself if you've seen it and the colors are 
there it's actually vibrant but not oversaturated or too different from the actual thing that i am seeing directly on my screen now the thing is they lied about one thing and it's an important thing it does like a variable fps it kind of does like a fps between 45 and 60 but it's not a straight out consistent 60 fps capturing of whatever i'm doing in the screen now for five dollars more at twenty dollars you can get the liano capture card which by the way i made a review on this channel links on the description down below but uh, that capture card trades off a little bit of the image quality the clarity of the text for fps so honestly for a console gamer if you're even recording a playstation 4 or maybe a switch or something that doesn't really do consistent 60 fps or you play chill games then you can go ahead with the acasis but if you're like me who plays hardcore games no not really but like you know competitive shooter games counter-strike valorant uh, apex legends fortnite whatsoever warzone then um you want that smoothness on your stream because that kind of gives you a bit more quality feeling then you can go ahead with the liano capture card this is all up to you and your preference, but this capture card is kind of okay. Again, this is Alan from Unfiltered Bits. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.